Now, for those of you that are new to using a cutthroat razor, I just wanna show you how to hold the cutthroat razor. So we've got our razor here, and we're just gonna open the arm all the way. We're gonna position three things on the top of the razor and our little finger just resting on the back rest. Now, by holding the razor like this, this is just gonna give you that full range of motion and that full maneuverability to shave in any direction. Now, the two main motions when it comes to shaving is you have your front stroke and you have your back stroke. So these are the two main motions you wanna be practicing. So when you're shaving underneath your neck, you can see you're just, you've got your back stroke in motion and then you have your front stroke. So it just gives you that full range of motion to go in any direction. Okay, so we're gonna start by installing the blade into the razor. And the razor blades we're using are the feather blades. So they usually come as a double-edged blade. You have to split them in half. Now we're just gonna open up the razor and we're gonna position the blade on the two notches. And then we're gonna close the razor and close the clasp. And as you can see, the blade is ever so slightly exposed. Now before shaving, we're gonna apply some pre-shave oil. You just want a couple of pumps here, guys. You don't wanna use too much, otherwise you'll clog up the razor. Now beginning the shape up guys, you want to angle the razor at approximately a 30 degree angle and really important here to not press too hard, you just want to allow the weight of the razor to do the work. The shaving oil is just going to allow the razor to glide smoother over the skin so therefore you shouldn't be pressing too hard onto the skin. So I'd recommend if you are new to the cut for a razor to just start by shaping the top of your beard just while you build the confidence up to get that full range of motion and that maneuverability. And then once you've built that confidence, you can move on to the neck area. Now after shaving, it's always best to use a post shave balm or an Allen block. You just want to ensure that you're closing the pores and you're disinfecting the shaved area. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like this. Take care.